It is so hard to find good news to bring you every day, but I do it. I'll tell you what, I have four stories for you. European Union and the United States working closely now to figure out how to improve their contribution and their commitment to Afghanistan. Both considering more troops and more money and more dialogue, not only with the current government, but with the Taliban. Excellent news for that country. I hope, hope, hope that they can finally uh, have an era of peace and prosperity after this enormously long time of hardship. U.S., Russia, cosmonauts and space tourists, American returning. They landed yesterday in the Soyuz, and the excellent part of this story is that two of the three, one of the cosmonauts and the American space tourist, are both the sons of uh, fa the, their fathers also went into space as a cosmonaut and an astronaut. The gentleman, Richard Garriel, he's a game developer, paid, you know, the 30 million or so to uh, have the trip to the space station, and his father, Owen flew in 1973. What an experience. I'm so hoping for space travel before the day I become plasticized and put on a bench somewhere. In England, they have a car. It will be announced tomorrow, I believe, that can go a thousand miles an hour. This car is 42 feet long, nine feet high, and I would imagine is headed to either Black Rock Desert or the Salt Flats here in Utah to, uh, to make the run at it. The, uh, the inventors currently hold the record 766 miles per hour. A thousand miles an hour. Where are you going to go? You can only take like a four minute drive and you're there. <laughs> I don't know. I say don't put the bar too high. Uh, also, a world effort underway now to get all the global leaders together to discuss this economic crisis. I wondered about that yesterday. Read about it today. It's going to happen on November 15th which is three weeks out. I hope we can make it.